Hello, my name is Bob Baldacci, and welcome to Baldacci on Business. This is our Pitch Me show, and really, I'm, I'm so excited to, to be hosting the show tonight. This is really the highlight of our, of our year, and uh, to, bring, to bring on the, uh, these young entrepreneurs who successfully competed in your program, Kate, mm -hmm. Build a Biz. So would you take a few seconds and just talk about uh, what we're doing tonight. Yeah, absolutely. First, I want to thank Rob and the panelists for being here to support the Youth Entrepreneurship of Maine. Uh, and Build a Biz program is a free online youth program teaching kids about awareness, you know, how to start and run a business. Huh? And we started out this year with over 300 entrants and then 90 great business plans, but we have the, the judges nailed it down to four wonderful young, young entrepreneurs. Girls rule. I have to say that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Tonight they do. But uh, well, before we introduce the the, uh, the successful uh, entrepreneurs, I do want to introduce our panel for this evening's show. And on my immediate left is Alexandra Swaney. Allie is a sophomore at Greeley High School in Cumberland. Allie, thank you for being here. And if you recall, last year Allie was also on the panel. So we just want to have that voice, that young voice. Uh, to interact with, uh, with our uh, entrepreneurs tonight. My younger brother, He's going for the age vote. Governor John Baldacci, two-term governor of Maine and uh, former congressman. Uh, but the reason that John's here is John has had 30 years experience running uh, our family business in Bangor, Mama Baldacci. So he does know a lot about business. And thank you, thank you Governor, for being here. Kat Kate McAleer, Kate is, uh, was on our show uh, this year, and I'm so proud of the fact uh, with her Bixby Chocolates, which she's now moved to Rockland, Maine, was the winner of a $30,000 launch pad competition through Gorham Savings. And Kate, that, I was so pleased to hear the, the news. So she'll be here, and she really should be an inspiration for you guys to, uh, to follow as, as a young entrepreneur. You girls. <laughs> girls. <laughs> More girls. But thankfully we have Don Gooding on the panel <laughs> as well, Governor. Don, Don is the director of the Maine Center for Entrepreneurial Development. Uh, he's an entrepreneur in his own right, an investor. So, you know, he may write a check tonight. He's also an <laughs> officer of the, uh, the Maine Angels, vice chair. And uh, Don, Good thank pressure. you. And, and connected to build a biz by marriage. By <laughs> marriage, because they're related. And speaking of marriage, uh, my uh, wife Elizabeth, Elizabeth Baldacci, who uh, in her own right is an investor, an entrepreneur, officer of the Maine Angels, and a principal with Baldacci Group. Elizabeth, thank you for being here. Thank you. So, Kate, without further ado, would you like to introduce our uh, Yes, our panelists, Winners. Our, our pitches, who did a great job. Like I said, we had 90 uh, business plan competition people send information in, and you were the top four, and we're very excited. You did a great job on your videos, and I'm going to start here with Maya. <laughs> Maya Kalaski is 10 years old. Raya Morrill, 14. Haley Leary Forey, did I get that right? 12. And Caitlin Rayner is 16. And we have some great pitches coming forward, so just hold on. All right. So without further ado, we're going to launch our first uh, pitch. And who's that going to be, Kate? Caitlin Rayner. Caitlin, and what school are you? Uh, I go to Scarborough High School. Scarborough High School. So why don't you get right up to the mic? Great. Good afternoon. Hi. My name is Caitlin Rayner, and my Build a Biz idea is called Errands for the Elderly. My business will involve teenagers like myself running errands, um, assisting with errands like light grocery shopping, picking up prescriptions household chores, appointment reminders, light meal preparation, computer and social media assistance, assisting with pets, light meal preparation, and courtesy check-ins to make sure they're okay. 15 to 20 percent of all proceeds will be donated to the Southern Maine Agency on Aging, which is a nonprofit organization that provides adults and their families with information, guidance, education, and programs for a wide range of financial, emotional, and social needs. 17% of Maine's population consists of adults over the age of 65. As we get older, um, our bodies and our minds tend to slow down, and sometimes a helping hand can be a welcome relief. That's where Errands for Elderly comes in. We respect and appreciate these older members of our community and want to offer them inexpensive services, which are provided by responsible and compassionate young adults. 
With competitive and affordable rates, our services are the perfect fit for older adults on fixed incomes. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I think we used up the 90 seconds there yeah. quite well. Uh, any <coughs> questions? Or are we going to hold off? And yes, no? I, I no? have a question. So, um, first of all, this is this is a great idea, and, and we do have a high percentage of our population in Maine that is elderly, and I just applaud you for such a caring um, idea and, and trying to implement that. Uh, with that, I, I believe there are services out there that already offer this, so how do you differentiate yourself and your business from the services that are already out there? Um, that's a good question. The difference between us and those other, other services are we aren't quite as expensive. We have we understand that older people have fixed incomes, and we're we're very compassionate. We understand their situation, so we try to tend to those needs. Okay, great, thank you. So I'm wondering whether this is something that you've personally done, and mm -hmm. what and uh, whether you've started yet to try to recruit maybe some of your friends at high school to try to do that with you. Um, actually, I'm in a medical occupations class at the Westbrook Regional Vocational Center, and we have learned a lot about home health care and how the elderly need a lot of help as they get older. Mm -hmm. So I've just I've been very interested in doing helping others and getting involved in this. So I've talked to a few of my friends, and they're really interested in this too. So that would be a good idea. Any other questions from our panelists before we go on to? Uh, I was, I was just going to say that. Uh, I, I can appreciate what you're doing and why you're doing it and your drive for it. Yeah. Uh, and I think the services have, there are services that are out there that provide these services, but with the major cutbacks that have been going on in the growth in the elderly population, it could be much more of a need for that also. And I think the more that you can document that and get the information to help support your business plan, it would be uh, even uh, more uh, better uh, received. Great. Anybody else? Before we move Alexander? On, um, I was wondering what you're doing right now to advertise it or what you're planning to do for the future as far as advertising goes. Um, actually, I was planning on advertising by word of mouth, um, social media, bingo centers, <laughs> um, websites, grocery stores, senior citizen centers. Have you considered Facebook? I have. Good. I think that's very Facebook, good. Facebook, Twitter. Instagram. Great. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Very Thank much, you. Caitlin. Great Thank job. You. Thanks, Thank Caitlin. You. Appreciate it. So one of the things that uh, we've done this year is so all of our four winners are going to be at the award ceremony yeah. on May 29th, and I'm actually looking for mentors for them. Okay. In the sa in the business that they're in, to be able to help them, so they'll be able to meet them that evening. So we're going to have the, the awards ceremony. We're going to have actually twelve kids from around the state this year. Okay. Be exciting. Wonderful. So. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Our next contestant. Oh, don't shy away. <laughs> Get right up there. Okay, Haley. <laughs> and you want to talk a little bit about you? Where you go to school? I go to school at Cape Elizabeth. Okay. And what grade are you in? I am in six. Okay. Hello, my name is Haley Leary Forey, and my business is called Gold Elephant. The product that I sell is a lip savvy set. This set includes a lip scrub, which looks like this, a lip balm that looks like this, and a lip balm, which is a lip balm with, S with sun protection. This product is unique because it is made in Maine, organic, not tested on animals, and safe for the environment. Um, I am building relationships with Twist Boutique in Portland, Fabu Salon in Portland, and Lois's Food Market, as well as Ola's in Portland. Terrific. Well, that's great. great. Uh, yeah. I, I'm often told that I need to put stuff on my lips. So, <laughs> and, and, and as a guy, I don't do that as much as I probably should. So uh, I'd like to hear, how, first of all, how you came up with the idea, and then also how much it actually costs uh, to buy it in some of those stores that you mentioned. Um, I came up with this idea because 
my skin and lips are very sensitive. Mm. So one day I was um, just like on YouTube and stumbled across a recipe and I have perfected it to make it my own. Oh, that's awesome. And how much does it cost? Uh, 17 72 with tax. 1772 with tax. All right, with tax. That's awesome that you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Kate McAleer. Um, I loved your idea, and I, my question is, do you use any main-made uh, ingredients in your product? Um, what do you mean by that? Any ingredients that come from Maine locally or are grown in Maine? Uh, I am not quite sure. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. What kind of ingredients do you use in your... I use beeswax, olive oil, and Vaseline, which is kind of like a um, a vegan Vaseline. Oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah. you might want to think about sourcing some main beeswax or something in that uh, vein because mm -hmm. main made has a great marketing cachet that mm -hmm. would help you promote your product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A good That's point. A great idea. Governor? As Bob and I know, you don't want to give out your recipe, so you probably want to have that patented. As <laughs> 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 but maybe in Don and I could use it on our forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking right. the same. Mark it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have any questions. Good job, President. Allie? Um, I was wondering, um, just thinking about how many uh, lip products and balms and all kinds of um, things like that, that there already are. Um, what do you think makes this particularly different? What, what do you think this would make people want to buy this rather than I think another? because it's all natural and vegan friendly and it's sold locally and it also comes in a bag. Cool. Good. Elizabeth, okay. do you have anything you want to? I think that we need to okay move it on I know well thank you very much your packaging is beautiful <laughs> thank you well you it's, know there's another thank great. you for the suggestion who did may mead I mean thank you for the yes. suggestion of a possible mentor to help her go forward with um, you know sourcing her product in Maine with all the other our next uh, pitch is ready. okay Raya are you all ready you want to talk a little bit about where you're from uh, I'm Raya and I'm from Bangor and my product is really? called the Pat Pouch which stands for the Pet Aromatherapy Pouch. And what this is, is a tea bag style diffuser that you put use in tart warmers. All you do is you put the tea bag inside of a tart warmer which are sold in many, many stores nowadays in a, little, in a small amount of water and this pouch releases a remedy of four different herbs that calms down dogs that are left at home alone. And by using this product, you can, prevent, you can prevent your dog from getting separation anxiety, which is a disease that 15% of dogs in America have, which is a high number com considering the fact that this is a preventable disease. And by, by using this product, you can help uh, relieve your dog of separation anxiety if you think that they have it. For $16, you get three tea bags that last about a week each. And the cost for the cost of making this is about thirteen dollars. Uh, no, it's about three dollars, <laughs> and the profit is about thirteen. So it's a it's a high profit for this product, and it lasts a long time. Cool. Do you want to start, Ali or John, yeah, Governor? Go ahead. I'm I'm to Ali. Uh, okay. Um, well, you clearly have um, your information down. That's yeah. that's great. Um, you said at the beginning of your um, your pitch there. Um, you put it in a what to make it work? It's How a tart is it? warmer. Uh, could you explain to me what that is? A tart warmer, you can buy like tart packages for them and it just melts the wax. Kind of, and you can, Yankee Candle sells their versions. Okay. And Sensi is also a popular company for tart warmers mm -hmm. and they're very popular now. And so um, all you do is you put the water in the basin and put, the, put one of the diffusers inside and it releases the remedy. That's very interesting. Would you consider selling those together? I've thought maybe? about creating my own mm -hmm. version of a tart warmer that involves either candles or electricity. And um, if I were to create one, I would make it so you can buy them either together or separate. 
Excellent. You think that would be more compelling, Governor? The question I have was, is now you say it's for pet anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, pet separation. Yeah, cause, because uh, dogs left at home alone away from their owners, they, right. they experience like heavy, heavy amounts of stress, which can lead to separation anxiety. Right. Yeah. And you have we two have dogs. A, we have a couple of examples of that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, do you have any research to back up the claim in terms of its effectiveness? Mm -hmm. I've, I've actually personally used it. I use it on my dogs if I know I'm not going to be home right. early that day. And so when I come, normally when I return home and I don't use this product, right. they're very distressed about me being gone. Right. And they'll, they'll bark as I leave and then they'll be very nervous when I come home. Yeah. But after using this product for a day, I, re I see they come home and they're not, uh, sometimes you can find them sleeping in their kennels mm -hmm. because they have to be in kennels because they misbehave otherwise. <laughs> uh, that may be a good idea. I've been using NPR in between. <laughs> 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 but this may be a better product. Thank you. Uh, Kate and then you, Elizabeth. So how long does it last in the tart warmer? Each diffuser lasts about um, a week, depending on how, how long you plug it in for and how long it stays on. And the water might have to be refilled sometimes Just because the case. herbs do suck up some of the water and some of the water evaporates. But the, uh, should each diffuser lasts about a week. And um, how close does it need to be to the dog? As long as you place it in the room where your dog is, then it sh it, your dogs can smell, it, can smell the herbs. Uh, we only have like 30 seconds left. Okay, Elizabeth. so my question is, what is your distribution strategy? Who are you selling this to? My, product, my, my target demographic is d many dog owners across the country, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys have dogs, so you can use it as well. And plus, traveling families that have to leave their dogs at home alone, Families that are very busy who have who can't go home early. So directly to the customer, not through vets or other sources as a wholesale, directly I retail. Could, I've been thinking about selling my product through veterinary offices mm -hmm. and the Humane Society. Yeah. As well as well to get it to more pet owners. Okay. Thanks. Thank Great. you, Raya. <laughs> Thank Great you. job. Thank you very much. Do you uh, have a dog? I uh, I did, but I'm I'm not much of a dog. He's a cat. Who could uh, we have a couple of cats, <laughs> and that's enough. Uh, I, I do want to, uh, our audience uh, watching the show, if you have any ideas or any suggestions, uh, please feel free to contact the station uh, if you'd like to connect with any one of our uh, young entrepreneurs, uh, particularly if, if uh, you think you can be a mentor to yes, them. Yes, we're looking for great mentors. Our next final. Maya Koloski. Hi, my name is Maya Koloski. I'm 10 years old and I live in Portland, Maine. My business is a website called OMG Anxiety. OMG Anxiety is an online, on-demand therapist through a series of games for kids when they need it. Because most of the times you get scared aren't at therapy. They're often on car rides or at the doctors. And even the kids who have therapy can't have it every day. This you can take anywhere and it's great for kids. I've been working on a series of games to put on the website or on people's devices. One of them is called Shake Your Fear. Um, when your kid logs on, they will choose an avatar, which will represent their fear monster. In this game, it represents your fear growing and shrinking. So when um, your kids um, tap on the game, they'll see this. And as you shake your device, he'll get smaller. And if he tries to grow again, you shake him until you feel like your fear is gone. This and many more things will be included on my website, and you can buy them on your device. Um, I've talked to a lot of therapists, doctors, children, and parents, and, this say, and they say that um, things like this aren't usually very friendly for kids. So this could be something that um, the world needs. I'm excited to do this because I'll be helping kids just like me. I have anxiety, too. Um, thank you for listening. That's a terrific job. Who would, uh, Kate, I <coughs> skipped over you the last time, and I'm sorry. Would you like to take the lead question? Or? Sure. Um, so do you have your website? up and running yet? Um, we are working on it right now. It's supposed to be up and running probably sometime in July. Great. Uh, feel free to so, anybody. So, so this is actually a big area of games for people who have you know, various kinds of anxiety. I was actually reading in today's Wall Street Journal a report about lots of games that are being used. So you're actually at the leading edge of technology. <laughs> and so, and one of the people mentioned in that, Julia Hoffman is somebody I know, so I'm gonna put you in c contact. So uh, just kudos for being at the leading edge of this. Very exciting. It is. 
panelists. Yeah. So one thing that I noticed is I, I did uh, watch your video. I went onto the website, and the website looked very serious. It looked really informative, but my understanding is that, that your apps are for kids. And so I was wondering how, how, how you were going to know that, uh, how kids were going to know that, oh, this is exciting, and the artwork looks like a demographic that they would enjoy. Well, um, I really think it takes a kid to know what a kid likes. Yeah. So um, I'm going to have a lot of input from my friends on how to make the website um, good for kids my age and younger and older. So. Great. Okay, That's good. A good answer. Governor? I was just very no. impressed with her presentation, and I thought she did it very well and, uh, and appreciate uh, you know, how you presented it. So thank you. Thank you. And you're 10 years old? Yeah. Now, have you been learning how to program yourself? Yes, I um, am programming in languages called Scratch and Hopscotch. They are animating websites, um, creators that help you. Like, I program games on them, and I make videos. And um, most of it's going to be about strategies that has helped me, because um, I have anxiety and I take therapy for it. So are you going to charge for the app? How are you going to make money? Well, people can buy the apps on their devices um, that they can take anywhere. And you can also um, set an account on your website where you, um, you can track your progress on it. Um, and we're not exactly sure how much it's going to cost yet, but um, probably get figured out soon. I think that's a terrific idea. <laughs> Allie, do you have any? Um, yeah, I'm wondering, again, <laughs> about uh, in, um, anxiety, sorry, <laughs> advertising. Um, what are you doing or planning to do as far as advertising goes? Well, we're probably going to put most of it online for that's probably the source where most of it's going to come from. And I'm also um, spreading it around by word of mouth. Yeah. Twitter and Facebook and all of that yeah, once stuff. Again. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, anybody else? Thank you uh, very much. Great Terrific job. job. Terrific job. Tough well, here we are. We're getting near the end of the show. Oh. And uh, I, first of all, uh, Kate, is there anything else that uh, we need to know about the program? Or well, I just briefly, I just wanted to talk about, so build a biz this online program, which they completed and sent in all their information, and they're here for this competition. This is just one of the events. You know, the next one actually is build a biz day across the yeah. state. So on May 18th, kids are going to be setting up their businesses all across the state. And so this is an example of what you're going to be seeing this year, which is, I don't know, I really, the judges have a really hard time, and we're, we are addressing some major needs. You know, we have a huge baby boomer population, yeah. you know, Caitlin, uh, Haley, you know, we're out in the sun too much, we don't hydrate enough, and I think that's part of, at least that's why I tell Don, he doesn't <laughs> drink enough water, that's part of it, you know. I hear that We well. all have un unconditional love pets, uh, you know, dogs, anxiety is a huge one, I didn't know it was a disease. It's, go it's good to know, and I hope that I can understand because I have anxiety, and I hope that I can do your game. <laughs> so yeah. the judges have a hard, a hard uh, road here. So yeah. um, they're deliberating as we speak. Yes. But uh, uh, again, for these four to to arrive at this point, Kate, there were you had over three hundred. Uh, yeah, three hundred children register this year from all across the state, every corner. You know, ma they made it through three levels of uh, cuts, you know, the judges, the small business development counselors, you know, they set it up and, you know, here they are on the Bangor Savings Bank elevator pitch competition to compete for $1,000 for the first prize and 250 for the second. And they're all going to be at the awards ceremony, though. Okay. And they each, I already have sponsors for all of them, so there's also a little extra financial surprise there too. Nice, nice, nice. So you have done a great job. This Are you all relaxed now that it's over? <laughs> I mean this is really why I wanted to do the show in the first place to give people uh, uh, the idea or the belief that they they can create their, create their own destiny and, and it really starts with uh, the kids, our youth yep. and uh, I'm very proud of you guys, very proud. So uh, they have done, yeah, they've done a great job. And this is part of what build a biz. You know, e e we started it as an awareness builder, entrepreneur builder, but really this build a biz has become an aspiration yeah. for Maine in our future. And so getting the word out there to support youth entrepreneurship. I mean, they, 
the people that, you know, don't understand that you need these skills, whether you're going to run your own business or whether you're going to work for somebody else if you want to move up in the company. So they're very important to have, yeah. very important You all did a have. phenomenal job. This is going to be very hard, and our judges are they're still having, contemplating. Having, yeah. This is not an easy decision, and we have... This uh, is the longest they've taken, so... Two more minutes left for the show, folks. Well, they decide. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good. This is a testament to, uh, to you folks, that it's not an easy decision. So, uh, uh, well, we hope to be at the, uh, the awards uh, banquet, and again, your sponsors include Bangor Savings Bank. Yeah, Bangor, Bangor Savings Bank has been our founding sponsor since 2010. Uh, you know, we have GWI has been there, Oxford Networks, okay. CTN, Baldacci <laughs> on Business. You our know, pleasure. we have been very lucky to have partners, great community partners. All right, I'm going to have to ask the panel. I'm sorry. Are we ready? I think so. <laughs> oh, oh boy! First of all, uh, is there is there dissension among no, the uh, ranks? No, you made it so tough because you're all so good. <laughs> yes. And we all think you all have an opportunity, you know, with a little mentoring to really be very successful. And I think it's a great testament for Kate to be here, who has been on that seat where you're sitting, and has been able to turn out such a success. But uh, we ended up going with the pet pooch. Okay. <laughs> pet pouch, excuse me. Pet <laughs> pouch. <laughs> pet, <laughs> all right. Pet, pet pouch. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. And number two. Oh, number two. Very close second with OMG anxiety. Oh yeah. wow. Well, you all are winners. You really are, and you're gonna, we're going to have all your awards for you at the award ceremony on May 29th. So. Congratulations. Congratulations, and nice looking Very forward nice. to, to that event. And we'll be inviting uh, Ryer on our June show, uh, which we're going to be uh, taping shortly here. So again, thank you all, and viewers, thank you. And, and uh, we really appreciate the support you've given our show. Uh, we look forward to uh, another season. And again, panelists, thank you guys very, very much. It was a good show. So tough decision all the way around. Yeah. And if there's anybody out there with young entrepreneurs that want to get involved next year, buildabiz.me, B-U-I-L-D-A-B-I-Z dot M-E. It's a great program. Thank you very much. Thank you much. very much. Thank you very much. All right. Great. <laughs>